Am I the asshole for refusing to apologize to my sister after exposing her lying problem? My, 21F, sister, 23F, sister is a liar. Sometimes her lies are so bizarre that they don't make sense. It's like she's delusional. When we were younger we used to fight and bicker all the time, but my parents never got involved out of fear of taking sides. When you have a conversation with her it is almost impossible to tell the truth from the lies. Last year she got married, and accused her mill of hitting her. This enraged my mother who cut ties with all of my sisters-in-laws, even though they were extremely close. Soon my parents noticed that her accounts of the event dramatically differed every time and it became very clear she was lying. My parents are devastated now because accused their friend of something she didn't do. My mother wants to fix the situation, and I suggested she tell the truth, but she doesn't want my sister to deal with the repercussions of the damage she has caused because my sister doesn't deserve to be confronted or isolated by the family, which is likely what will happen. My sister hasn't spoken to her husband in months, he is now extremely depressed and struggled to eat, sleep. When you confront my sister about one of her lies, she throws a massive tantrum, she screams, cries and ignores you for days, incapable of having a normal conversation. She also hates my guts and I really don't know why. I think it's because our parents didn't allow us to go to university but I fought, with help from police, and persevered my dream to go, whereas she just accepted not going. My parents always beg me to be nice to her and spend time with her but it's impossible to be around her with the way she is so hostile and lies all the time. A few days ago, I ordered some frozen mice off the internet for my tortoise. I repeatedly asked my sister if she had picked up any post for me, she was the one that took the post those days, and she said no every time. Yesterday my mum found a parcel hidden downstairs under the warm printer with my name on it. The parcel was covered in tape that said, dry ice, in capital letters and my mum handed it to me. Sure enough, the 50 mice had defrosted and were rotting. I was infuriated as these mice had been killed just to end up in the bin. Just because the parcel had my name on it she had to sabotage it. I explained to my parents that I knew it was her and that she should be punished for this and recompense me for the money I paid for the mice. Later on my mum confronted her and, sure enough, she denied it and started screaming and crying and ignoring everyone. My mum wants me to apologize and rekindle my relationship with her. I told her I should not apologize as I've done nothing wrong and she should open her eyes and see that my sister is delusional and is ruining lives. This situation is really upsetting as I feel I'm doing something wrong. I feel like must be an awful person for my own sister to despise me so much. Am I the asshole? Edit. A lot of people have been asking. My tortoise is a red foot. So he is an omnivore SND needs animal protein to survive lack of protein can cause neurological problems and low fertility rates. I buy the mice in bulk as it's ultimately cheaper and store them in the back of the freezer where they last a long time. Edit 2. A lot of people have been asking about the university situation so I'm just going to paste this from another reply. My parents are very traditional and religious. My parents believe university sends children, off the rails, and that as women we can get jobs however we should prioritize getting married and having children. An educated woman is an unmarried woman, basically. It opens gateways to drink, drugs and boys which hinders the priority of marriage and family. My sister accepted that fate but I refused and I tried to leave the house. My family wouldn't let me leave so I called the police and they took me out of the house and the next day I moved to my new campus. They didn't speak to me for a few months but eventually apologized to me. They've accepted now that university is inevitable and no matter how they feel about it, they try their best to support me now. A lot of people have also been asking if my parents have or do abuse me. I appreciate the concern but it is quite an invasive question which I don't feel comfortable going into detail about on the internet, especially if one of my family members finds this post. I also wanted to quickly add my parents aren't oblivious to my sister's lies. They know when she's lying because the things she says are so wild and unbelievable, but they ignore her, if they tell her she's lying she'll throw a tantrum like I mentioned above. The assault situation was quite different as my sister had never told a lie so extreme before that my parents felt like they had to believe my daughter and support her to be good parents. They did take both accounts of the story. Mill said she didn't even lay a finger on her maliciously, and my sister's husband was also there at the time and confirms nothing of the sort happened. To all the people telling me to move out I'm currently only at home for the summer. I'm going back to university in September to begin studying for my master's degree so I'll be living back on campus which is about an hour away from home.
not the asshole. Your sister sounds legitimately like she's mentally ill, and your parents are enabling it. Did this just start happening? Is it a lifelong issue? How has she lied in the past? A few other tidbits. Your parents chose to cut ties as a knee-jerk reaction before ever asking for anyone else's side of the story. That is 100% on them. They deserve whatever fallout they have for that. Your sister is 23, she can't be punished by your parents. You're all adults. Her and her husband need serious therapy. Not the asshole. Ah. Uh, if she is married then she still lives at home then with the fam? Move out if you can but she needs therapy cause she is not all there. Very toxic. Your sister needs professional help. I think it's because our parents didn't allow us to go to university but I fought, with help from police, and persevered my dream to go, whereas she just accepted not going. So I know this isn't the point of the post, but like what the fuck is the story behind this? Not the asshole. It goes without saying your sister needs serious professional help. Like a team of doctors. Your mom won't be around forever to keep covering for her and let's be honest enabling her. What's going to happen to sister then? Not the asshole your sister needs professional help. Your sister needs a mental health evaluation. It's scary that your family has been enabling her lies. Obviously a random anonymous person from the internet can't diagnose her, but she sounds eerily similar to someone I knew who turned out to be a sociopath and pathological liar. These people need help but also are extremely toxic. I would cut ties with her until she gets help, and even then be very careful you may have to cut ties completely, and her husband should do the same. I'm sorry to say this but you likely need to limit or cut ties with your other family members as well. The fact that they continue to enable your sister says a lot. Not the asshole. Frankly it sounds like mom does have a favorite your sister. Tell both your parents that until the sister pays for the mice she destroyed that you have no sister and just refuse to talkie to her. Also maybe write a list of every lie you can remember and hand it to your mom and dad. I bet if the list is long enough they might get a clue. Am I the asshole for, humiliating, my, aunt, by saying I never dated her son? Update. My grandmother got a hold of me this afternoon to let me know that there is a lot more to this story. My, auntie, is from the US. She's not from a foreign country, with a foreign culture. It's a lie she made up in college to seem more interesting. My mom has been in on the lie from day one. Even my dad didn't know that my auntie was actually the same girl who grew up a few doors down from my mom. Now, this is a big problem, because my auntie runs a, minority-owned, business and that's where my mom is employed. So now this is in legal territory. As for Sonny, I really don't know what he believes, but I suspect that his mom cooked up our relationship, and was hoping that after my divorce, I'd make her, betrothed from birth, declaration play out, which would of course, reinforce her fake persona. Original post plus updates. My mother's longtime best friend has been my, aunt, for as long as I can remember. When I was 16, she moved near us and her son started attending my school. From day one, he seemed to think he was dating me. My aunt and my mother both pressed on about how sweet it would be if we were, victorious childhood friends. When we didn't date in high school and I went to college, this chatter went away. The truth is, I barely know this guy. We played together on beach vacations as little kids because we were the only kids in a group of buzzed adults. He wasn't even a great playmate. As we got older, it was more and more apparent to at least me that he had some sort of issue. My own theory, albeit, this is an armchair theory, is that he's autistic and hasn't gotten any therapy or treatment to help him navigate the world. Anyway, my mom had a barbecue a few weekends ago, and I came with my boyfriend. My aunt came with her son. After my boyfriend and I sat down, my aunt came over and asked who my friend was. I explained he was my new boyfriend. She sighed and asked how I could do this to her son. My response was along the lines of, what? She launched into how she understood we were on a break, but showing up at a party with my, revenge guy, was a low blow. Especially since everyone knew we'd get back together, it wasn't fair to my, flavor of the month, to pretend like I was available, and she knew how hung up I was on her son. I know this sounds insane the way I put it, but she seemed so genuine that it was very convincing. My boyfriend was visibly shocked. I had no idea where this came from, so I said, Auntie, Sonny and I have never dated. I took him to one casual dance as a kindness. I don't know what he's told you about our relationship, but the reality is we say hi on Facebook sometimes. She accused me of saving face in front of my boyfriend, he left, and I freaked out. I told her, very loudly, that this is psycho, 
that I am not, and never have dated her son, and that he's really, truly, utterly undateable. I don't know a single girl who would date this boy. She had just assumed that I'd go along with this crazy narrative that would somehow insulate her from dealing with that reality, but I wasn't going to. Then I left, and was lucky enough to catch my boyfriend before he left so I had a ride home. She and my mother sent me emails explaining that she was humiliated in front of her longtime friends. That I had no business saying that in public to her. I can see now that it would have been better to pull her into the kitchen or the house and explain this to her, since I now think it's possible her son was feeding her lines and she was really shocked, and I did say some hard things. But in that case, didn't she owe me a trip to the kitchen to call me out on my infidelity? TLR. My aunt accused me of cheating on her son who I never dated. I called her a psycho. Edit. Some people have said that I was screaming that my aunt's son was undateable. I did not scream, and in fact, several people at the party didn't even know there was a commotion. While I was loud, we were also close to a table full of the sorority sisters that make up my mom and aunt's friend group. Also, he really is undateable. I've tried to help him set up profiles and have even tried to set him up on a date with a few of my friends who I think might really get along with him, but it's been a disaster. Not the asshole she also could have pulled you aside and talked to you privately if her son was truly telling her lies. Instead she tried to catch you in front of your boyfriend and the rest of the family. Just wow. Not the asshole. You may have taken it a bit too far by proclaiming that her son was utterly undateable, but she has some nerve to say you humiliated her after she accused you of cheating in front of your boyfriend. After my boyfriend and I sat down, my aunt came over and asked who my friend was. I explained he was my new boyfriend. She sighed and asked how I could do this to her son. My response was along the lines of, what? She launched into how she understood we were on a break, but showing up at a party with my revenge guy was a low blow. Especially since everyone knew we'd get back together, it wasn't fair to my flavor of the month to pretend like I was available, and she knew how hung up I was on her son. Lol what? Not the asshole. She is openly trying to sabotage your relationship doing this because in her mind you're somehow betrothed to her son. Even if the kid wasn't autistic, you're not interested and this isn't the middle ages where you arrange marriages. Not the asshole. She said those things publicly and got called out on it. Maybe she really thought Op was dating her son. But honestly, how could she think that? From this story it sounds like Op didn't live at home and Auntie doesn't see her at all. Curious to know if she's being fed a story by her son or just made it up on her own. Perhaps this woman is just delusional. Not the asshole. She was humiliated? She was saying that you already had a boyfriend in front of your actual boyfriend and she dare say she's the one humiliated? Even if everything she said was true, that still would have been completely out of line from her to accuse you of cheating right in front of your boyfriend since none of it is any of her business. She could have taken you aside to discuss the misunderstanding privately. She decided to blow up at you in public, she deserves the blowback. Not the asshole. Your mom is. Your mom's friend is a psychopath. Do yourself a favor, sit down and watch a movie called, Better Off Dead, with your boyfriend. It's a John Cusick film from the 80s. It's great. It has the exact same scenario. Do not Google anything about the guy who played Ricky. Not the asshole. She chose to make tasteless comments about you and your boyfriend in public, so it was fair game. What goes around comes around. Not the asshole. I'm not going to lie. I was about to question that dating her son thing and call it weird. Before I read the explanation I was about to say your aunt is weird for wanting you to date your cousin lol. Until I read the actual relationship of this person. That being said, this lady is extremely delusional. Never did you consider her son your boyfriend nor, I assume, was aware she still thought y'all were dating. Your aunt needs to get back into reality and stop being a narcissist. This ain't doing her son any favors, likely her son lied and she is refusing to accept that. Am I the asshole for saying my profession is more respectable than my sister's? I, F26, have a sister, F29, called Eva. When I was younger I was not the favorite child. I got in trouble and was super anxious, undiagnosed ADHD. But in high school I got it together and got into a good college, finished med school, and entered my first year of residency. My sister Eva growing up got all the awards and was the good kid. Something happened to her while she was away at college so she dropped out and entered the sex work industry as a hooker, adult model. My parents did not care since she had a roof over her head but obviously were not the biggest fans and asked her to keep quiet around family. 
I look a lot like my sister so I hate that people sometimes mistake me for being the sister that works that way. And when she first started some certain people at our church bothered me about it and a friend dropped me because of her, good riddance to be honest but it hurt. So I asked her not to mention her profession tonight in front of my new fellow residents and our extended family. Because it draws up so many questions and it would derail from the dinner and the celebration. On my birthday dinner with my immediate family, extended family, and my friends my parents were bragging about how happy they were I had entered my first year of residency. They talked about how five Kelvins and this was all part of the birthday toast that they were giving. My sister during the toast all of a sudden exclaimed in a seeming joking manner said you and dad never brag about me like this. My parents don't really know what to say so they pretend not to hear her and go about the toast. After everyone leaves Eva starts getting in my mom's face asking why don't you guys brag about me. She then asked is there something wrong with what she does. My mom is not a confrontational person so she suggests we go to bed and talk in the morning. Eva then accuses me of being complicit in her abuse. I'm not gonna lie I'm not a fan of what she does but as long as she's safe and healthy I mind my business and don't comment. At this point my dad gets into it and asks her to listen to her mom and we should all take a chill pill and enjoy my b-day. She refuses and I suggest she just leaves, her home is 15 million away. Eva then starts at me saying that I think that I'm better than her and it's my fault she's like this. I said to her very calmly that most parents would prefer a pediatrician for a kid than a hooker. I then told her that while she deserves respect that my profession in the long term will end up helping more people than she does and maybe that's why our parents are more inclined to brag about me than they are to brag about her. And I told her it was rude to even allude to her profession after I begged her not to I know it sounds silly but it was my b-day and I wanted the attention that day. After that she gets really quiet and leaves the house it's been roughly 5 days since then since she hasn't called my mom or texted and my mom start to get worried about her. Edit 1. She was not supposed to come at all. I obviously invited her but she told me that she would not be available. I figured I would not have to have the conversation of my older sister who looks near identical to me does sex work on my birthday the she showed up and I asked her not to make it a talking point in front of people who were strangers to her. I would have been chill telling them had it been any other day. Edit 2. I asked her to leave so we could all cool off and have meaningful discussion the next day but she refused to leave. Edit 3. A lot of people thought she dropped out because of assault or abuse or something much worse but thank goodness that's not the case I thought I would just tell you and sorry if this is kind of vague but she tried to baby trap some guy from her college when he said that he'd support the baby but was not interested in pursuing a romantic relationship she lost it and said she was gonna abort the baby to punish him, her choice. But people heard about it and called her out on her behavior she left the school out of embarrassment maybe? Aborted the baby in our state and stayed home. Not the asshole at all. It sounds like she's trying to force people to be happy and proud of her line of work, regardless, or because, of the stigma surrounding it. I have a family member that behaves in a similar way but perhaps worse. They have gone out or their way to do something that they know people are uncomfortable with, then start fights deliberately with people that don't approve. I don't know the reasoning behind it. Perhaps projection of their own shame or self-loathing. Maybe something else. Not the asshole. You're a doctor and she's a hooker. While there's nothing wrong with being a hooker and it's her life and she can do whatever she wants with it, one is clearly more brag-worthy than the other. Your parents accept her choices and support her, but she can't expect them to pretend that this is what they wanted for her and praise her for it. Not the asshole. Look there is a huge social stigma associated with prostitution, sex work, not saying it's right, but it exists. If someone wants to enter that field willingly and adopt that stigma, great. But the expectation that her parents would brag about her and also take that burden, embarrassment onto themselves in public is absurd. She needed the reality check. Not the asshole. You're actively helping people while her profession is, at best, neutral. Not the asshole. She badgered her mother and father for validation despite knowing that there is a massive stigma associated with prostitution. What you said was true. Most parents would prefer a daughter to be a pediatrician over a prostitute. Yes, a doctor will also help more people than a prostitute. Your career is objectively more respectable and important. Not the asshole, you are a doctor, it is a high-valued profession for good reason. She's a hooker but even if she was anything else it will be difficult to compete against a doctor. If she was a firefighter, a nurse, a cop her anger would be acceptable. But a regular job is less valued than doctor.
The issue here is her need for competition. It was your B-day, she overstepped by taking attention, then wouldn't let it go and accuse you when you didn't say a thing. It's clearly jealousy. You could be more tactful but in the context she deserved this reality check. Considering it was your birthday, she could have been the goddamned president for all I care. It was your day, and she made an effort to steal your thunder. Not the asshole. Esh. You for your obvious feelings of superiority and trying to control to whom she discloses her work, and her for trying to making your birthday celebration all about her, causing that drama was unnecessary. Am I the asshole for not wanting my husband's friends to come visit the day I gave birth to our son? Hi everyone. I just wanted to start this by saying this happened right before the pandemic. My husband and I had recently moved to a new state where two of his close friends happened to live. These friends are also married and very kind people. I had my son early in the morning by a scheduled C-section. Needless to say I was in a lot of pain and discomfort the entire day. We had previously discussed having these two friends stop by to see our newborn. I was completely fine with this since they are such close friends. Unfortunately, my body was not handling the antibiotics well from the surgery. I completely lost control of my bowel movements and had horrible diarrhea. It was occurring at least once an hour. After it happened the third time I asked my husband if he would tell our friends not to come that night but to stop by the next day. He immediately got very disappointed and said, I really want them to see our son. I told him I was really concerned I would horribly embarrass myself in front of them by soiling myself in bed as I had many times that day. He pushed for them to come and visit and insisted that they stop by. I just wanted rest and didn't want it to turn into an argument so I agreed to let them visit even though I did not want them to. At this point not only was I soiling myself uncontrollably but was also feeling exhausted. He told them to come and visit. They arrived and spent a few minutes in the room before stating that they were a bit hungry. So the three of them decided to go to the cafeteria for some snacks and drinks. I used the opportunity to check myself and sure enough I had diarrhea in my hospital bed. I was mortified at the thought that they might have smelled it. I was able to get my husband on the phone and hint to him to stall them in the cafeteria while I got cleaned up. They came back after a few minutes and I had managed to clean myself and get back into bed, which was not easy considering the C-section. They stayed for over an hour talking to us and holding my newborn while I sat in fear that I would embarrass myself. Some time has passed since this day and I have found myself feeling very angry that he cares more about the feelings of his friends over the concerns and feelings of me, his wife. We have all spent many times together since I gave birth and each time I can't help but think about that day and how he made me feel. That he would risk me embarrassing myself rather than telling them to just stop by the next day. He seems to feel like this is completely reasonable and that since they are such good friends it's no big deal, it was important for him to have them there the day he was born. I feel conflicted that I am the one being unreasonable to have such hard feelings about it when some time has passed. Am I the asshole? Update. I just want to say thank you so much for the replies. They made me laugh and cry. This truly felt like a healing experience to feel like I'm not crazy to feel hurt over this and that it is indeed something serious. I feel vindicated and so much better. I will definitely take the advice of seeking therapy over this incident. I know it's not healthy to hold on to these feelings after nearly two years. Many of you have asked if we had discussed it after leaving the hospital and I did bring it up maybe four or five times the past two years. Each time I did my husband just says it was important to have his best friends there to celebrate our son. He doesn't feel like he's being unreasonable at all even after I've expressed the resentment as caused. And as many of you have stated, you're right, this isn't the first time he has made me feel like this. Like I'm the least important person on earth. I want the best for my son and will certainly seek professional help. I don't know if I'll be able to save the marriage after so many years of feeling like his needs come before mine, and me always putting his needs first. Thank you so much for helping to bring clarity to this situation. Not the asshole I want to go build a time machine and throw the diarrhea sheets at his head. Also you deserve time to recover, your husband is a douche. Not the asshole. That is some BS. How do some people not understand the trauma a mother's body has just been through? Even if they can't empathize, they should sympathize. Not the asshole. Anyone who visits a woman in the day she gave birth is an awe. Unless it's a close family member invited by the woman. People should have some common sense about these things. Women need to heal and bond with the baby after the birth. I think any visits for the first two weeks after a birth is rude as hell. 
but the biggest asshole is your husband, how selfish and disrespectful he was. Terrible partner. Not the asshole, come the next day, is a reasonable compromise. Two thoughts. Y'all need to clear the air on this in a healthy way. It's festering. You need to use paragraphs lol. Not the asshole. I sense some resentment. I think that's justifiable. I think you guys should discuss it with a therapist so that you guys can communicate clearly, effectively, and respectfully with a third party. This is a pretty big deal, in my opinion, and I think a trusted, non-biased third party would be a good presence. Not the asshole at all. As a husband and father, I'm appalled on behalf of husbands and fathers everywhere. Not the asshole. You literally just had major abdominal surgery and brought another person onto the planet. You have every right to refuse visitors and were in fact being gracious by allowing them to come the second day. I agree with the other commenter that said you and your husband need to clear the air about this issue. Perhaps with a therapist. I have a friend that's a couple. They had a baby. The male half of the couple invited our friends to their home their first night back from the hospital. The female half of the couple said, I have stitches in my vagina. Call them back and tell them no. The moral of the story is, it doesn't matter if you're actively expelling excrement or not. Whoever has had a watermelon-sized human removed from their body that month gets to decide how the rest of the day goes, every day, for kind of a while. No one else should get a say. This goes double if you are leaking excrement. Not the asshole. 